Thanks to Fiverr for kindly sponsoring today's video. Perhaps the most common question I get on this channel is how on earth can a gardener possibly produce enough compost for a no-dig garden? Well, my question is how can any gardener possibly produce enough compost for any type of garden? So whether it's dig or no dig, you need compost and there's no real difference in terms of quantities. It's a bit of a myth that no dig requires far more compost than traditional gardening. Now I'll be the first to admit that I need to buy in compost for this garden and it's, it's an area of frustration because in an ideal world I'd love to not have to rely on spending money because when it comes to compost I think we all can appreciate how quickly the costs can mount up. I now question if perhaps mulching my beds annually with two to three centimetres of compost is too much because I was speaking to Stephanie Hafferty and she has 14 years no dig professional growing experience by the way. She was saying that she now mulches her own personal garden with just a centimetre of compost every year and that's over half less of the compost requirements my garden uses and it's potentially over half of the costs saved. When we were having catch-ups, she was saying how she's frustrated with how gardening is now portrayed as not being affordable or accessible. And I can totally understand where she's coming from. You know, there's things that I've done on this channel recently that haven't helped contribute to that portrayal of gardening. I think that needs to change. To put it bluntly, I'm really angry with the way that the cost of living is going and how unfair it is for so many families. And so over the last few weeks, I've been really carefully thinking about how I'm gonna change the direction of this channel and also my approach to growing to actually help showcase how affordable and accessible it can be. So in this video, I'm gonna try and unpack exactly how I plan to improve No Dig, both in terms of growing styles but also in terms of availability of free information and making information very accessible so that no matter what your situation is or what your location is, there's something there that can help you produce more food and save more money. So a big part of this is obviously compost is really important and every garden will always need compost, but actually bringing in other methods, techniques and styles that build upon a reliance on just using compost. And to help with this, my team and I have started quite a big growing project where we're creating multiple gardens to speed up the way that we can research, learn, and share all of these different methods to help you grow more delicious and nutritious food affordably. In order to make growing food and constantly improving soil health and fertility possible on a very tight budget, there are five areas, core areas, which I'm gonna be focusing on. The first is low cost infrastructure, which involves designing and sharing plans and tutorials for low cost compost systems, water infrastructure, undercover growing, all of those kind of things that make a big difference to the actual supportive role of growing food. The second is experimental growing. This is pushing the limits of timing, planting style, mulches and techniques. The third is amendments and it's about creating free or ultra low cost and I'll credit Jadan for that. Microbe rich and mineral rich plant feeds, not just for plant health and yields, but also to improve the soil quality. Fourth is compost, about creating higher quality compost, faster, in greater quantity, and celebrating readily available resources. And the fifth area is seeds, that's seed saving, all of the different varieties of crops, and also potentially breeding new varieties. So if we actually take the first letter of each of these five aims, we get the acronym LEEKS. So being a Welshman and accepting a butchered spelling of one of my favourite vegetables, moving forward, whenever I talk about this project and area of work, it's going to be known as Project LEEKS. My big focus for the channel moving forward, 
is to integrate as many of the ideas and aims of Project Leaks as possible. And you'll see a few familiar faces on that journey as well. Something that I've noticed as well is that when you garden with a restricted budget, it's actually one of the most sustainable ways of growing food because you're limited to using local resources and also making the most of waste resources. And it's Earth Day 2022, but I think it should be Earth Day every single day. You know, composting is perhaps the most superior way that us home growers can recycle. And even if we have a tiny garden, the amount of food that comes out of that will have a fantastic impact on helping to reduce food miles. One of the things that I really believe is gonna be so vital for this journey is to share as much data, evidence, all the results as possible. And the new site where I'm sat in right now is gonna be a core part of that. One of the gardens that we're creating at the moment is actually experimenting 11 other methods of growing which builds upon no dig and test them against a control bed. And I'll share those 11 experiments in just a moment. Firstly, I wanted to quickly introduce you to this new growing site, which we have named in Welsh Dan Ronen, which means under the ash tree. This is a beautiful protected ash tree in kind of the middle of this seven acre project, which we have secured a long term lease for from a lovely family who are so behind all of the projects that we're trying to achieve and carry out. Now, I'm a big fan of logos. They make something feel legitimate. And I wanted a logo for this project. So I went onto Fiverr to find a freelancer to create one. Fiverr is a site that I've been using for many years. And what it does is it connects us with freelancers to help us either overcome problems or challenges or to carry out tasks that we might not have the time or the skill to achieve. One of the reasons why I keep on using Fiverr is that project turnarounds are so quick and freelancers to suit any budget. I mainly use Fiverr for graphic design services like designing the Dan Ronen logo, which was done in under two days. Absolutely amazing. But there are services for everyone. And just to show you how creative you can get with Fiverr, I actually tasked another freelancer to create a unique font that we can use on this channel. And it's actually the font that we've been using in this video. And I also got another freelancer to animate the logo. So if you're working on a particular creative project or you need a set of skills that you don't have to help you with something, or you're simply curious about what services they offer, head to fiverr.co forward slash Hugh and use the code Hugh to get 10% off. We're splitting this project into two stages. Stage one is the bottom two acres, which is far more of a horticulture, experimental, veg growing type setup. And then the big field behind me, which is five acres, is going to be more of a focus on agroforestry and using elements from that to help with the horticulture. So behind me, the experimental garden is in progress. And that's where we've got those 11 experiments that I've mentioned. They're on the screen right now in my own font, which is really cool. And this is going to be such a fascinating space because the, the diversity of what we're trialing against a control no dig bed is honestly, it's, it gets me so excited. So I'll actually be doing specific videos on this channel, just giving you updates with how those are going. So behind me, we have a herb garden, which we're actually looking to supply a local farmer's market and a couple of restaurants. And this main garden, or the, well, it's the mini garden behind me, is gonna be a really important focus. It's 10 by six meters in size, and we're gonna use that as a demonstration site to show what you can do in a confined small space, including trying as much as possible for it to be self-sufficient in terms of creating its own compost. So we've got a mini polytunnel going in there, lots of beds, lots of containers. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So this is one of the latest installments. It's a rainwater capture system using IBC tanks to suit a mid-range budget. But what we're also gonna be doing in a couple of weeks time is using tarpaulin, creating a design in a temporary way of capturing a lot of rainwater 
in a smaller space on a tight budget and I'm really excited to share that. We've just started planting up this polytunnel. Now the, the main goal for this is actually starting all of the seedlings for the experimental garden. And also we've got this Wi-Fi garden in the back that we're developing, mainly because it looks like a Wi-Fi icon symbol, but that's where we're just gonna be able to grow a little bit more in terms of bulk produce to take home and eat. This section is brand new. Well, the whole project is brand new, only a few weeks old, but we've terraced this nearly an acre of land. And the idea for this terracing is to focus on the fifth kind of core element of Project Leaks, which is the seeds and testing out as many different varieties as possible, doing seed saving, and potentially, as mentioned before, a bit of seed breeding. It's gonna be a big project to get the soil fertility up, but we've got a lot of things in the pipeline to do that, hopefully for free. Where I'm sat here is the top of the car park because we're also looking at turning this into a, a centre for regenerative agriculture and that's another logo concept that we, we've worked on with Fiverr. But this area is going to be the core kind of composting section where we're going to do a couple of chicken composting designs, all sorts of experimenting of different recipes and working out volumes, quantities, different kind of microbial solutions to put on that are all homemade to speed it up and increase their quality. And also as a core base for creating all sorts of different amendments, which really excites me. When I was chatting to Stephanie Hafty about amendments, and this is gonna be my new amendment corner for the main garden, she was saying how excited she is, how ferments and amendments can bring so much value to gardeners and help really save a lot of money. And I'm really excited to really be putting this whole aspect through its paces. There's a huge amount of content related to everything in this video coming out on this channel starting next week. And if you want to be involved or if you want to support Project Leaks, there's actually an email address down below. And finally, I want to say thank you to Fiverr for sponsoring today's video and helping really support this project. Don't forget to check out their amazing offering of services and use the code HUGHRICHARDS, all in capitals, for 10% off.